Hi, in this video I will talk about Forms API in Drupal 8. At this time Drupal is still in alpha so as Drupal 8 is finalized some of the examples might not work. To give a demo of Drupal 8 Forms API I have created an example module. So example module is placed inside modules uh, in the root directory of Drupal. So inside module this is the example module we will work with and we have example.info.yaml where there's the name of the module, description, core with which um, uh, this module will work. And there is example.module which is an empty file. Example.routing is to define the path our module will handle and the path to the class and the function um, which Drupal will run to handle this path. So if we go to lib inside our module directory Drupal, so it's following the same uh, path, Drupal, example, form, and example form. So inside example form, we are using the namespace, and uh, Drupal 8 uses namespace. Um, I will give a little bit better description or how the namespace is used in uh, some uh, in the next video. But at the moment I have a build form function where we are extending the Drupal core form form base and this is our example form uh, class. We are extending Drupal's core form the base form class. So in that we have build form function and we are creating the array with form first name, type text field, title your first name. And there is second one which is form email, type email, title your email. And then we have submit, so action submit type submit value save button type primary so let's see how this will show up in our site so if we go to example form and this is what we get so let me put both of those uh, side by side So if we need to create another field, we just define say form, phone number, type, telephone, uh, tell. So this type will be handled better in mobile devices. And we save this new field and reload our page. So now we have a phone number here. And to give an example of error handling or validation, so we have public function validate form. Let me stretch it a little bit. So we have a public function validate form and we are checking if the phone number is less than seven, uh, the length of the form, uh, phone number is less than seven, we um, set an error. Uh, we will set an error on phone number. 
So let's see how it works. We will go to our site. We will one, two, three, four, and email is test at test.com. And now, as you see, it is giving an error. Phone number must be at least seven digit. So we can um, place any kind of validation here, and we can set this um, error message on any um, field. Uh, we could have done it on um, first name or email if we want to check if the email address is valid or not so we can set um, similar error. Let's take So this is the error handling or um, the validation. So here we are calling Drupal's form builder, static function form builder, set error by name function, and we are giving it the field name, form state, and the error message. okay so let's take this validation away for now and to demonstrate the SQL or the query to save the form data even though this might not be the Drupal way uh, I'm just playing around with uh, trying to show how um, things can be done So I have created a table in the database with ID, first name, phone number, email. And I have created a submit function in which it will insert the data into example form. So example form is the name of the table. So is the example form the name of the table and it will save the values in F name, phone number and email. So uh, let's um, set the message uh, from the develop module uh, what is the result of this so we will use test 444 and test at test.com so it it is outputting one and if we go to our database it is saving the form data. Uh, let's fill out another one. Test 2. Phone number is 22222. And test 2 at test.com. So let's take a look again. So this is the second data um, entry which it saved. Um, to give some examples of other kinds of fields, let's take a look at date field. So in order to output the date, so we have form date, type date, and title enter date. So to give another example let's let me hide a couple of these here. Yeah. 
so we have a number uh, let's take a look at the checkboxes so the checkboxes are um, type checkbox option we are setting the two options here and title is right here okay another example of file upload So just to recap, um, we created a module example. In order to create that module, we need example.info.yaml. And we need example.module. Even though it's empty, uh, probably by the time um, Drupal 8 is released, this might be removed. Um, Example.routing.yaml to declare which path our module will hand, um, be responsible for and um, the class which it will load. And in order to for the auto load to work, it has to be in lib and the path we provide it's Drupal lib Drupal and example form and the class name and in the class we are extending the Drupal core form form base and we are creating an array of the form in order to validate the fields we get function validate and um, form and form state and submit function submit form will handle um, what needs to be done once the form is submitted and that's it for this video thank you